Hey everyone, I'm Nog and welcome back to Satisfactory. We set up this melting array last time. We didn't get it hooked up or anything yet, but uh, it it will be. It will be. And um, so all of these are now hooked up to power. You can see there's stuff coming out of them, even though there's not stuff coming out of them. Uh, so they still think they're doing something a little bit uh, for a little while but they are powered up and let's just actually check our power situation we have more than enough power right now uh, but it won't last forever we will need to expand that relatively soon actually but those are set up uh, still with uh, Mach 1 belts unfortunately but that is what it is we have also, or I have also, in between episodes, uh, set this up, where we have an uh, elevator here going down to the miner down there, and that is a Mark II miner. So that will actually do 120, but the belt can only carry 60 right now, but we will upgrade that as soon as we can. And there are three ore nodes down there, so that's... Uh, and they're all normal, so that's 360 or a minute. And if we overclock a little bit, then we can get those three to be 450, which means that these three ore nodes will supply one row of smelters and one full belt of uh, iron ingots when uh, once they're done. So right now, all we need to do really is to get power over here. So let's do that. Let's put a power pole here, here, I'm not at all sure that this is the way I want it to, to come, but I just wanted to get power now. There we go, power it up, and let's see if we get some iron ore, we should. Come on, baby. There it comes. So we have iron ingot production going. Very nice. Excellent. And let's just go up top and see that the smelters actually start smelting. Of course, it won't be that many that start smelting yet, but at least we have our first uh, basic production line going in our actual base and not in some temporary base. So let's see, there comes iron ore out of the elevator. Excellent, so that works. Go, go, go. And I think uh, we're going to go find a place to make uh, iron plates next, and then iron rods, and then iron uh, screw or screws, so that we can get um, reinforced iron plate going. Because I really want reinforced iron plate going, and and I really actually. What I really want going is is uh, encased industrial beams and and then uh, Mach 4 belts, right? But we'll have to take it a step at a time. A step at a time. Okay, so it's going into the buffer chest and it's coming out on the other side. Very nice. And let's go up top. and see if something actually comes out of this. And, oh, it's coming from down in this end, of course, and the output is down in this end. So let's see, will we get iron ore coming up here? Don't see it on the belt yet. 
Come on, baby. Give me some iron ore. Hey there, buddy. There it comes, there it comes. Standing. Actually, I don't want all of these things on our to do list. Let's just clear the list. Uh, why can't I clear list? There we go. Okay, so, oh, up. the ore comes. Very good. Good. Out it goes. And it works. Outstanding. Let's see if we also get ingots out. Yes, we are. Fantastic. So ingots are being output. And they will be output to over here. And let's jump down here. They will come into that one. And then we need some storage for those. So let's just build one storage container here. Uh, where is it? Organization, storage container. Let's build a storage container here. And get them out. There we go. Let's go back upstairs and see if they're coming. Or, the, or if they're stuck on that thing. And that may well be. Have a look. They're certainly coming down this way. And the first ones are there and stuck. Crap. That. No longer stuck. Ah. Whoa. That could have hurt. And coming out and into storage. Very nice. Very nice indeed. So let's just uh, dismantle that one. Because we need it to come down. We decided that over here is going to be input. So we need it to come down and into there. We're going to have the containers running up and back, I guess. And let's just get it going down there so that we can start looking at getting trucks going somewhere else with the precious goods. we need is let's see where is the we have the output over there which means that the output is over here which means the input is there damn it I hate falling down I really really hate falling down uh, okay so what's going up is that the right height so hard to see. It needs to be the same height as the other one, so I guess it's there. And you that not input? Oh. It needs to be come down from the top. 
Darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Okay. Let's go up. And have a look see. Double conveyor wall here and see how that'll work. I don't think that'll work at all. Doesn't look like. Um, conveyor. Nope. Doesn't work at all. Except I could. Could actually do like this. Let's try that. No, that won't work. Uh, let's take it again. Uh, let's try a single. We do need to get coal into there as well somehow. Hmm. Okay. But let's try a single anyway, because we can tear them down after. And... Four. There. And down. He's out there. Like that. That looks like it'll work. That works. We can delete that. And come down here and go in there. Very good. And that was a bit too far, actually. Let's try and get it right. So let's put uh, not you, you. Put this. Like this. Do you come down here? I'll turn in there. Much better. Much better. And hopefully this will work as well. Yes. Alright, I don't want to jump down, because every time I jump down, I hurt myself a little bit. Uh, and that's no good. So let's go over here. And walk down instead. I need to make an easier way to get up and down here. But that can wait. So, it's coming down, and this is set to loading, which it should be. And... And we need a conveyor or a pool in here. We can put it right here, I guess. Connect you to you, and connect you to you. And then it goes. And we are storing up iron ingots in our truck station. Excellent. Very happy about that. So that does mean that we do need to get coal going over here because these trucks picking up, they will not be going over to our central hub because our central hub is for sort of finished products. Uh, but we will we will be taking uh, like uh, iron plate, iron rods, stuff like that. We will be taking over there. Oh, there, there's our tractor. See? So we will be taking all of that stuff over there, but not uh, ore and not ingots. We won't be taking over there, except uh, coal or yes, which is already going over there. Because all of the trucks going there, they will get coal from uh, one of the low from from uh, from there. 
So yeah, we have our first ingots being produced in our real base setup. So that is very nice. So let's see, what about this truck station or... So we'll build a building here. So I suppose we could build the truck station in here and then have the, that going up as well. I think that's what we're going to do. I think that's what we're going to do. So eventually, so this will only be one belt going up, right? Because we'll have 450 uh, belt. So this will just be one belt going up from all three of these machines, so we can have another belt alongside it and feed in the coal. So I think I will just take a look at uh, getting all of that set up and uh, then I'll be right back. See you in a second. Okay, so we are back and I have set up a another elevator here for coal and I've set up a truck station here. We're going to enclose this and call it a kind of a... Um, what? Uh, utility shed, utility building, loading dock, whatever, for for this uh, thing and for all of these just for uh, gameplay sake, right, or uh, role playing sake. And uh, I also set up a tractor which should be picking up some coal at the moment and hopefully it will soon come and deliver said coal. There's the other one. Oh, you can see the, you could see the thing, the, what's it called, the arm going on the, on, on the truck station over there, so it should be done with that pretty soon, and coming around, together with the other one, which is a little bit dangerous, especially over in that area, because if they hit each other, they're gonna go flying off a cliff, so I really hope they don't do that. I think we need to set up some walls around our roads here, at least where there are cliffs. So there was one. And which one was that? Oh, that's the one that we wanted. Run, run, run! Let's see, will it offload some coal? Yes, it did! Standing. And this path is so short, we don't need to have uh, coal loading at both ends. So we'll just load coal at one end uh, over there where there will be a lot of coal. And then all the coal that co comes over here will go to the trucks that are going to be running out of here. Eventually, we'll probably upgrade it to fuel when we get actual trucks and not tractors. But for now, all will do. So let's just see if this elevator works. Come on. Come on. Ah, you know what? We'll leave that uh, to its thing and see if uh, we actually get some coal out because I have hooked it up and put it into a single storage container and hooked it up down here as well so that we should be getting fuel into this uh, truck station also and we are getting uh, quite a bit of uh, iron ingots now so that's good coal is going up and it's keeping going so that works and we just need it to work over on the other end as well but the next thing we need to find out is smelting or not smelting iron plate production uh, we need to make iron plates and I just noticed that up here, and easy to get to, is a power slug. So let's get that. Yeah, thank you. And I'm not sure where I want to do the smelting thing. Or not the smelting, iron plate production. Iron plate production. That is what we're making. Iron plate production. Uh, let's see. 
could do it over here somewhere. Barrel nuts. The more complex things get, I guess the, the further away from uh, our central hub they will be, so the vehicles will have to go further and so on and so forth. So that's going to be interesting. Oh, Barry. Thank you. Hmm. Here might be good. Oh, Barry. This. Is limestone, pure limestone, which is nice. Hmm. Let's see. Where could we put a nice iron smelting base? So iron iron plate production base. Iron plate production base. Iron plate production base. Iron plate production base. Um hmm. That is a very good question. Could actually just make it a flat, regular base. I mean, we don't really have that. What we do in our thing over there, the uh, central storage, but it's the only one. So how about making it down here? A nice big area there. Just make it flat. Well, more or less, it will have at least three floors. But maybe make it a little bit interesting in that instead of having the, the trucks going to the bottom floor we'll have the production area on the bottom floor and then we'll have the uh, storage on the middle floor and the trucks on the top floor on the roof that could be fun I think that's what we're gonna do there's some ore up there. We need some more Caterium ore, so I'm always on the lookout for ore. This looks like iron though, I think. Uh, copper. Even less interesting. Alright, so I think uh, we're going to build our base over here. So Let's, uh, let's put down a beacon, just so we don't forget. And call it uh, Iron Plates. Alright. Iron Plates will be over here. Oh, there it is. Barry. Right. Let's go back to the uh, the um, yeah that thing, the smelting area. Oh, die! Dying is a bad idea. And let's go see if uh, we're getting pull into our trucks, uh, our truck station over here. So that means that we will send a, a truck over from the iron uh, plate production area, come over here, pick up iron ore at this one, which has coal, excellent and uh, then send it out the other way come out underneath here go around underneath and go back and deliver the iron ingots seems like a good idea i like it so yeah 
that is the plan for the next episode because we are out of time. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and maybe subscribe? And I'll see you next time.